Hi guys, it's Miss Amy, and it is Earth Day, and I am dressed like the um, the Giving Tree today uh, for in celebration, and um, I'm going to read a poem from this book. It is called Green Song. Uh, I can never get my fill of chlorophyll, of glory-filled weather, when the air is clear and dry, when grasshoppers in their gauntlets hop along high, and bright-winged butterflies delight the eye, when sun and breeze combine to make the landscape shine, and greens the major color against the azure uh, sky. And that poem is by Lillian Morrison, and it is in the book, The Earth is Painted Green. Um, so I'm going to change camera angle here like that. And I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on. Um, I have four... I have four containers. These are egg carton containers and they are full of dirt and soil ready to be planted. I'm gonna go and fill this last one um, so that you can see. We just fill them right up like this. Okay, we're gonna fill it right up so that there's dirt and soil in all of them ready to be sprouted. And the great thing about using eight uh, egg cartons as seed starters is all you have to do is cut each pod apart and then you can plant them right in the soil because they all decompose and it's, gr it's a great way to lessen the impact on, the, um, on your plants, on your seed starters. So now what I'm going to do, I love using a nail. This is an old bent nail that I got out of the barn. And what I'm gonna do is poke holes. Even when I start uh, seeds literally out in the garden, in the, uh, you know, in the dirt, I still use a hole and I poke it right in. So I'm gonna poke these down. I'm gonna poke it in, poke, 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 and all the way around, okay? And we've got that all there. And what I'm going to do now that I have poked them all, I'm going to open my peas, okay, and I am going to put one pea in each one of those holes. And I'm going to poke it down, and poke it down, poke it in, poke it in. There, one in each one of the holes. I'm gonna poke them all down like that. Poke it right in. Okay, use my gloves like this to do a little covering. And use a little more dirt to sprinkle over the top and cover everything in that, like that. Okay, all the way down, cover it up. And of course, what else do seeds need besides soil and sun? And that is water. So I'm gonna give them all a little bit of water right along so that they get what they need like that. Okay, and that one is done. So, peas done. Uh, this one, I'm gonna plant some nasturtiums. So, same thing. I'm gonna go ahead, poke holes like that in each one, like that, okay. And then I'm going to open my nasturtiums. Nasturtiums are actually an edible flower. They actually look a lot like peas. Okay, 
okay, I don't know if you can see the seeds, but they do look like peas, and I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same thing as I did before. I'm gonna poke them into all of the holes, one in each one. Okay, put those back in there. Put that right there so I don't forget. I'm gonna poke each one down in its hole like that. Each one, okay. Put a little more dirt on the top of my nasturtiums. And these are so, such a pretty flower. They're orange and yellow and red and they're great in salad and they're high in vitamin C. So I'm hoping that I will get some really fun flowers again. I'm gonna get some water on these because every seed needs water, plants need water, soil, sun, and I'll be talking to you now and then. Okay, so nasturtiums are done and peas are done and I'm gonna do some spinach and an herb basil as well. But for now, I'm gonna say goodbye. I hope you guys have fun planting and um, get outside, celebrate Earth Day, happy National Library Week. And if you can, support the library by making a donation. Hugs to you all. Miss you. Miss Amy.